what's up you guys this is going to be your daily guidance reading for thursday august 10th 2017 okay so i'm just going to tune into the energies for thursday's august 10th 2017 thursday august 10th 2017 divine spirit what is the energy that we're going to be dealing with okay we got the <clears throat> What is this? Seven of Cups. Okay, and it's a challenge energy. And we have the Knight of Skeptors, which is the Nine of um, Wands. Okay, what is the suggested approach? What is the suggested approach? Okay. Four of Cups. Okay. What should our focus be that's going to be our highest good? Where should we place our focus that's going to be beneficial and helpful for us today? Thursday, August 10th. Okay. The Eight of Wands. And finally, how is this energy going to conclude itself for Wednesday, August, or Thursday, sorry. <laughs> this card's flew out. <clears throat> One card, please, for Thursday, August 10, 2017. How will this energy? Thank you. The Six of Cups, and then the Swords, the Nine of Swords came out. So what is it, Spirit, Divine Spirit? What is it? What is the conclusion for August 10, 2017? Okay, the Ten of Swords. Okay. With the star card at the bottom. Okay. So overall energy, we had the Seven of Cups. Okay. So that mask stands out. There's some sort of disappointment and feeling um, tortured by your desires and almost feeling like giving up. Um the only fate and destiny you see with this whole um with this whole situation it could be like dark hidden fantasies or it could be um you know treasured something that you really cherish when it comes to love or <clears throat> or something in the matters of the heart that you kept very dear and you're very passionate about it that um, is now oppressing you or making you feel discouraged or tortured even like underneath the surface like on the surface it's like you're being punished like this is not meant for you like it's almost like God your angels your spiritual guides are like this isn't for you or you're not gonna have it or it's almost like you feel undeserving of these desires and it's like well i thought it was meant to be i thought it was destined for me to have these things now you're telling me that i have to let them go and that's what it feels like and underneath the surface you feel very tortured by all of this you feel like it's actually dark um like some sort of force is working against you that's doing this that's forcing this that's like pretty much just torturing you, making you give up on your dreams. It's something that's happening that's forcing you to give up on your dreams. You almost feel like you have to sacrifice this deep desire or your deepest dreams or your biggest, um, it's like something your heart and, and soul is connected to or you feel like is destined or, you know, meant for you in this life or just destined for you to have or experience. And it's like you're being punished and you're being forced to let it go, it seems. Like it's like something is working against you. Because it doesn't coexist with what you believed in or what you saw for yourself. And it's it's something sad here. It's like a saddened energy. As far as how this is going to challenge you, you have the Knight of Wands. So the challenge is actually not allowing whatever this is to defeat you. Because I feel like this is... It's something that you're misinterpreting or not understanding about this. And it could even be a test from the divine, but you don't have any major arcana cards here. So, except for with this at the bottom, the star card at the bottom, but 
you feel pretty um, inspired to keep going. But it's going to be a challenge because you're allowing this to control you and manipulate you. This emotion that you're dealing with, like you're allowing it to, to get the best of you. But your challenge is to, is to continue to push through and not give up and continue the fight. Go after what it is that you want. This could be um, a fire sign that's that's causing this challenge or it's in relations to a fire sign. Okay, so how to approach the situation with the Four of Cups? How to approach the situation? I'm getting that there is like some energies that are working against you. So whether it's your own mind or whether it's people outside of you that does not want this for you, jealous people, or this is subconscious energy, energy vampires, you know, entities that are against you or against what you're trying to do. Um, you got to fight the temptation of not allowing that energy to pull you down because it's got this lover's energy as well. You can't really see it, but there's this two separate energies, masculine and feminine energies that are almost one. They look like they're in the shape of a heart. For some of you, this is someone that you love or this is in relations, relations to love or it could be in relations to um, something in the matters of the heart or something that you really love and care about. This energy is got cancer in it. So I feel like some of you may be dealing with the cancer. Um, but this person is like trying to deter you from your dreams or deter you from this cancer or it could just represent something that you nurtured and you love for so long this could be solid foundations relationships your comfort and it's it's like are you going to either approach the situation by allowing these dark energies to pull you back and pull you down into this feeling of hopelessness and I can't take control of it. There's no opportunities out there for me. I'll never succeed. I'll never have what I want. I'm undeserving of it. I'm going to be sad forever. Or are you going to overcome that, that temptation of falling back instead of going and confronting what it is that you really want for yourself? Where should your focus be that's going to be helpful? You have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this has Sagittarian energy in it. So some of you may be dealing with the Sagittarius because I have it twice. Um, or there's a Sagittarius involved or you could be the Sagittarius. But um, the Eight of Wands here, it's like this energy. Like there's a momentum that's being, it's building up. And I feel like that's where you need to focus. You need to focus on the energy that you wish to build, that momentum, that intention that you wish to set forth. You need to focus on that because I feel like you have the ability to um, utilize the energy however you want to and create what you want or build up that momentum that you desire. There's, it's here for you to do, to do that. It's all of this energy that's working. All of this is is what I'm getting like all of this energy that's working there's a blessing in disguise you can't see it it's more so like you need to get in alignment like you need to be at a balance for this for what it is that you're trying to focus or you need to focus on getting in alignment and balancing yourself or getting in line with what it is that you say that you really want like you need to get in with it because otherwise you're going to fall victim to this energy of um, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. And everyone is against me because it's really not about any outside sources or anyone else. It's about you and what you believe in and what you're willing to do and go after. Or are you going to be um, tempted to allow these energies to pull you back? Like, are you going to allow whatever this is that you might perceive as negative or dark or a bad influence on you to keep you stuck and tempt you to fall back into that trap? Or are you going to utilize this energy and build up your own momentum and create? How it's going to conclude itself, the Ten of Wands, and we have Gemini energy involved. So it's like... Fighting that battle between yourself even. It could be you that's this opposing energy. 
This could be mentally. But it's like there's tricksters involved. Your mind could be playing tricks on you. Okay? You're not listening to your intuition. You're not following your heart. So at this point here, I feel like you will put an end to the suffering and the pain, possibly the imbalances within the mind, you know, trickery that you, you're creating in your own mind or other people may be creating. It's like you're going to take that into take these and you know take this into your own hands and end whatever this mental battle is whatever um communication has been thrown at you that makes you discouraged maybe it's outside sources that are throwing these things at you but are you going to take it as are you going to take it as gospel or are you going to follow your own truth are you going to overcome your own demons even if it's you that is your demon. Are you going to overcome these demons? Um, in spite or in in for, I'm sorry, for what you want. Are you willing to give all of that up? Are you willing to fight against all of the, all of these battles that are here? You know, heartbreak, the trickery, um, you know, the fight against the heart and the mind, the imbalance. And there's something karmic involved, I feel, as well. Like, this might be something that your higher self assigns you to overcome. Like, this is something that you need to experience. But definitely, I feel like you're being divinely guided or you're being protected and watched over by some sort of um, ancestors or um, higher power. Could be your higher self is making sure that you that you're that you're supported you're not doing this just by yourself because there's something karmic involved this destiny involved and then you have the star card which represents our dreams our desires it also represents renewal hope faith um you know it's a sign of aquarius so science and wisdom the crown chakra So this is about your desires and your goals and your dreams and being in alignment with your destiny and not falling victim or trapped to the things um, within yourself or even outside sources that could be testing you and testing your faith. Okay, so that's the reading. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Romance Angels and pull a Guidance card. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what is the love energy for today, Divine Spirit? What is the love energy Thank you. Let's see. All right. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. What is the guidance from the angel guides and goddesses deck? What is the guidance card and advice to one spirit? Okay. So you got give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So there's some of there's something that you've signed up for whether it's pertaining love another person or something that you love that's dear to your heart a desire a goal um a big dream that you have spirit's saying to give it a chance don't give up on it yet okay you're divinely protected you and whatever this other this this thing is if it's a person if it's a situation if it's a job whatever it is that you have here that you're holding on to and you're hesitant you almost want to give up spirit's telling you not to it's it, you're being divinely protected okay you and this other separate thing is being divinely protected then you have the angel of soul love it says time to look at how you value yourself issues of self love so the guidance card is that you really need to look at yourself, not so much everybody else, because if you're allowing outside sources or your negative self-talks or beliefs to get in the way of your desires and your goals, it's only because you're not trusting and believing in yourself, because at one point you really did believe in this. You loved whatever this was, but it's like something got in the way or you you've allowed that that something or someone to get in the way and kind of drive you off your path. But I feel like what's happening, 
I feel like what's happening here is this is a test and see if you really believe in yourself, if you really trust in your own beliefs and your own wants and desires, or are you um, easily influenced by someone else? Because spirit can be sending you these things and these people all for... All for... Um, I feel like just as a test to see if you really believe in yourself. Like it really has nothing to do with what this person has said, what you've heard, what your mind is conjuring up that causes you fears. So this is about you. At the end of the day, like everything else and everyone else is always going to reflect back to us what's going on within us, whether we like these things or not. Um, it's all a reflection of you. It's going back to yourself. And I feel like in order to really honor yourself and really love yourself, you have to honor the things that you say you want or believe in. So if you believe that the sky is green no one else believes it it's like are you just gonna say okay you're right the sky is blue even though it's green to me or you know anyone can tell you you're stupid but are you going to believe that you're stupid because someone else told you that you were stupid are you going to say to yourself you know what no i'm smart even though 10 people can say i'm stupid but you know what i know that i'm smart like what if they're the stupid ones you know it's like instead of flipping the script you it's like you're taking everybody's words over your own and that's the problem that's where the self-love needs to come in because it's honoring the self and it's the trusting of yourself that validates that i love me because i believe in me okay um that's what i'm getting for you guys i don't know what else to say that's pretty much clear it's coming out the way it is but that is your message and I hope that it resonates with you also helps you out through your day and maybe on you know the rest of the week because this energy could linger throughout the week but um as always I'm sending you guys much love and until next reading peace